Infrastructure modernization has always been at the forefront for the laboratory, mainly because we're on an old naval air site and we need to maintain our facilities to the best of our abilities. We have barracks buildings that were the original still existing on site today. Renovation of our existing buildings, new construction and demolition allow us to consolidate existing spaces and minimize our footprint to better utilize our space across the institution. Infrastructure modernization has become really important lately because uh, our, all of our facilities across the nuclear enterprise are getting older. Um, some of our oldest facilities date back to the 1940s or 1950s. Uh, as facilities and their system components get older, uh, we run the risk of a sudden failure in those systems. But by being proactive about replacing components and replacing aging facilities and modernizing our infrastructure, we can prevent impacts to mission work. We look at our infrastructure in different fractions of time, starting with the site development plan that forecasts our needs out 30 years, and then reducing it to area plans, which looks about a decade out, and then our project planning, which looks more closely at the projects that will take place in the upcoming years. Over the last several years, we've been working to establish different processes and create different tools to really build our space and site planning toolbox. My name is Yusuf Abed. I'm the Builder Project Manager, and our team created the Insight application, which is an application that translates data between uh, Livermore's infrastructure data and the Builder application, which is in Oak Ridge National Laboratories and it collects our own facility and system information and uh, gathers information from our inspectors about condition um, and also the age of that particular system. And based off of predictive modeling, we can get a much more accurate um, idea of when we'll actually need to replace that particular system. And it gives us more of a tailored approach to maintenance because we're able to target the individual systems that genuinely need replacement. Um, the fact that we've been collecting infrastructure data for, for uh, 30 something years and you can now have that to compare against what builder thinks that you know survival curves should be and so there are plenty of those other you know Whitestone, uh, Mars, there's all sorts of applications out there within our, within our toolkit that we use at infrastructure to model our data. Modernizing infrastructure systems also reduces cost, uh, the cost to uh, complete mission uh, requirements without having a sudden failure, but also the cost of keeping an aging and potentially obsolete or inefficient system running. In 2021, we have successfully implemented some of the site development plan, including the Emergency Operations Center, the EOC, five new office buildings, four new laboratory buildings, two conference centers, including Hertz Hall, and the Exascale Modernization Project. Uh, team science and in support of uh, science-based uh, infrastructure is very important to our group. Uh, it's not only important, but it's practice. Practice. So at any one time, we will be in a WebEx or a meeting that will have database uh, administrators, uh, Java developers, and computer scientists, uh, infrastructure people that have uh, you know 30 years of experience and uh, know everything you could possibly imagine about infrastructure. And uh, you'll also have uh, analysts and, and statisticians. And so this this amalgamation of people coming together to model the enterprise um, has produced some pretty powerful results.